Let's be honest, Notion is not very user-friendly on phone. It is slow to load, you cannot copy multiple blocks at the same time, there is no widget so you can input data very fast to the app. But in this video, I'm going to show you how I have optimized my Notion so I can fix those problems. Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Daniel, founder of the Notion Academy. And on this channel, we use Notion and all the tools to free up our time and take control of our lives. So on this video, I'm going to touch upon the three main issues that I have seen around Reddit, all the forums, Twitter, and everything related to the Notion mobile experience. So the first one is that Notion is so slow. So first of all, let's try to say why the app is slow on mobile. Well, I think it's mainly because we are storing a lot of data and a lot of different databases. So whenever we want to open a page that has a lot of data in it, then Notion becomes super slow. So there is two ways of optimizing this. The first one, and for me the best one, is to really be thoughtful of the views that we are going to need on mobile. What do I mean by that? We have a content production system, let's say, built in Notion. But let's think a little bit of the exact parts that we are going to need to use on our cell phone. I'm sure that we don't need the entire system to be used from here. So let's think of the tiny parts that we need. In my case, it is just two of them. One is to add a new video idea and the other one is to write any ideas that I have about videos that I'm actively researching. So those are the two only views that I need of the entire system. So let me show you how this plays out. Here, I'm going to open Notion. And here on my sidebar, I have already these two pages created. One to add a video idea. And from here, I can easily start writing all the ideas that I have and the same for researching videos. So as you can see, I have built these pages just thinking of mobile. When I'm on my computer, I'm not going to use them this way. So the second tip that I can give you to improve the speed of Notion on mobile is to hide everything under toggles. So let's go to my content creation dashboard and you can see how fast this has already loaded, right? Because everything is hidden in toggles. So my guess is, I am not sure, but that Notion is just loading whatever we are displaying. And whenever we open one of the dropdowns, as you can see, he starts to load the rest. Okay, so hiding things in toggles is a very good practice for this. Now, the next problem that we have is a bad texting experience. The main problem that I have found is that I'm not able to copy more than one block at a time. So for example, if I wanna share some snippet of text on WhatsApp, I have to copy block by block. And this is nuts for me. So you can see here, this is the script of the video that I'm currently recording, by the way. You can see that I can select here, but I cannot go farther than the block itself. So I can just copy the block. But I have a solution for this, that if you lock the page, so this means that the page is no longer editable. Let's lock it. So now the page is locked. So now I am able to copy more than one block. It's a workaround and it works. It's just an extra step. And once you finish copying, just don't forget to unlock the page again so you can edit it. The third issue that I have found with Notion is that it's not very good for fast input. I have shown you in, in another videos that I'm going to link over here, which is for me the best solution for this, but I was not using Notion for that. So if you wanna keep everything within the same app, then I'm here to help. This fix is going to depend on which phone you are using. If you're using an iPhone, which I'm not, I'm gonna leave in the description of this video a guide that Alex, aka a Notioneer, has put together in which he explains you how to use the shortcuts app on iPhone to create shortcuts for Notion pages instead of just going inside of the Notion app and search for the page that you wanna use. And if you are using an Android phone, which I am, I love Android and I love Mac. 
you can use the app that is called Shortcut Maker. I'm gonna leave a link in the description of this video for this app as well. So now for inputting data fast into our system, what we just need to do is to create those fast inputting pages. And I have mine over here on top. So for example, if I wanna add a new task to my system, I'm just gonna go there and this view is going to appear. So now it's just as simple as adding the task over here and all the properties that I need to add every time that I input a new task. So this is saving us time because the other option that we have is to open Notion, wait for Notion to load. Well, now I'm in this page, but normally I will go to the dashboard. I will have to open here and go to the add new task page, let's say add beer idea, and, and it's a little bit more slow. I know that Notion doesn't have the best mobile experience, but I have found that this tip has greatly helped me with it. I hope these tips have helped you. And if you are new to Notion, I recommend you to go watch this video in which I show you my start here page, which is the first page that I think everyone should build in Notion. So that is it for this video, guys. Hasta la próxima.